Using the ruler below, determine the length of the pencil. Now the length is going to be position 2 here, position 2 minus P1. So let's find position 2. I see the tip here is kissing this measurement right over here, whereas this one here is right at 2 inches. Now what is this here? We see this is 6 inches, this is 7 inches. How many divisions do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's a total of 16 subdivisions between each inches. So if there's so each if each of these little tiny subdivisions, these little tiny subdivisions, if each of these represents 1 16th. So each little tiny little subdivision represents one is one sixteenth of an inch. Let me just use the proper inch notation here. So each little subdivision is one sixteenth of an inch. So we have one two of these. So the distance from here to here is going to be two sixteenth of an inch. So two sixteenth of an inch essentially is equals to one eighth of an inch. So this position here is going to be this big number is going to be seven and one eighth of an inch. That's the current position here. This is P2. This is where we're at seven and one eighth of an inch. Now let's take a look at P1. P1 is at two inches. So P1 is at two inches. So the, the formula to determine the length is going to be length equals P2 minus P1, position 2 minus P, position 1. Position 2 is 7 and 1 eighth of an inch. This essentially is like a plus sign here. Minus 2 inches. And when we have these uh, mixed fractions, we simply subtract 7 minus 2 is 5 inches. So we have 5 and 1 eighth of an inch. So the correct answer is A.